Hey everyone, welcome um, to our second video podcast. I'm super excited to have you on here. I am so excited today for you guys to meet my amazing friend, um, Kathy. Kathy and I met um, about three years ago. Um, grew up in the same small town, did not know each other. It was through a mutual friend that we ended up meeting, actually through essential oils. Um, and I got to hear Kathy's story and just got to hear just how, as I've watched her on this journey for the past three years, just um, how counseling, how um, all of this stuff, but along with the essential oils has just changed her life. Like I literally have seen this girl change in front of my eyes, <laughs> um, which is amazing. And just the power of the oils plus um, spiritual healing and everything else. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to quit talking, <laughs> um, but I just want Kathy to be able to tell her story. So Kathy, if you don't mind just sharing with us a little bit about your story. Okay. Um, wow. Share my story. My story could go on four days. Um, but to kind of make it short, sweet, to the point, I hit a rough patch back in about, you know, 2009-ish, 2010, right in there. Um, I got into, well, I'll be honest, I was raped. And then dealing with the initial rape, I turned to alcohol. And then from alcohol, I went into counseling and then took on some pretty mega abuse there. And I'm not going to go into all that because that's just kind of gory, ugly details that, yeah, we don't want to relive those today. Um, but that went on for about, how long was I there? Two, two months, three months, somewhere around in there. Um, then I came home and I just struggled constantly struggled. I couldn't get past anything. I couldn't, I couldn't get up. I couldn't get, I mean, when I say up, I mean happy. I couldn't just find that constant where everything didn't feel like the walls were closing in on me all the time. Um, I live, I have pretty much up until about the last year had pretty constant nightmares about the whole situation um thankfully oils have for the most part taken care of that um but like you say about three years <coughs> about three years ago i came into oils i came into oils for a whole nother reason wasn't even for this particular deal you know i came i have respiratory issues that's what i came to oils for but then the more I've used the oils and the more play with them, whatever you want to call it, started happening. Things started, you know, and, um, and it was really when I started trying to stop the nightmares with the oils is when I really started looking at the oils for all the other emotions and the dealings of all of the abuse, all of the whatever you want to call it and it has it's been a big very emotional journey especially in the last what six months when we started i am fabulous and how did that change you because i know that that kind of really did start like this place of oh wow how did that change um i actually had to face the demons i've had to really I mean, have moments where I just, I feel like I'm suffocating, so I just have to literally stop and either just start writing or just start looking at, okay, what's bubbling up? What's this? What's that? You know, and just had to, I guess, in that moment, just refocus. I've had to really learn to refocus, refocus the mind away from all that negative and you know just say oh, you're not you're not part of me anymore right and so it was really just some of that like i mean when i did the same thing was kind of changing that mindset of yeah lies that we believe that the enemy mm -hmm. 
tells you that, you know, he doesn't whisper them, he shouts them, um, but they're constant. I mean, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a constant chatter. It's, I mean, it's, you, you hear it all, I've, you know, I've battled it some today and last night. It's, you know, you hear this chatter, you're not worthy, you're not good enough. Nobody really wants to hang out with you, you, you know, all this crap. And that's what it is, it's crap. It's a big load of crap. And sorry, I don't shouldn't use language like that. <laughs> but it's you know, real life. I mean, it, it is real life. Of, I mean, those are what you battle. And, yeah. And I think every woman battles that. I think every man battles that to some extent. Um, but I mean, it's that constant. You know, I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy. I'm not. Um, I think there's different words that everybody battles. Um, but I hear a lot of the same common theme of. So tell me a little bit, I know you worked with Heather for a little bit. Um, what were some of those oils that like she recommended? Like, so when those thoughts do come up, you know, that you can kind of stop them. She had me using, or got me started using the Jasmine. Okay. And the Cedarwood mm -hmm. for the heart. And the Jasmine mainly because if you look and she, of course, she was reading it out of the emotions book and whatever. It deals with a lot of that sexual abuse and a sexual, all that jazz, all that bad sexual stuff. Right. And then the cedar wood was for like the anxious feelings that not, um, oh, I don't know how to describe it. Um, that unwantedness, that, you know, that, that guarded, untrustful. Right. I know you know what I'm trying to say, and I can't find the word for it, but yeah, anyway. Kind of that, I'm not good enough. I'm not. Right. I think Cedarwood is the, I want to say oil of community. So, and we're talking about the emotions book. Um, we'll put a link to that under the stuff, but it's an amazing yeah. book. It talks about each specific oil and emotionally what it does. And um, like I talked about in my video, like the only way we can deal with trauma, the only way we can deal with the crap that we've walked through is to deal with those emotions. And the only thing that releases that is smell. Um, and I know when you did I Am Fabulous, like you had a really strong sense of smell that kept popping up. Of and that was on, you know, from day one. Right. And even now, and I'm still doing the I Am Fabulous protocol, you know, and every now and then I'll still get that dirty penny smell. Mm -hmm. So I know that not everything is completely gone yet. Right. Smell but, has such a strong um, part of us. I mean, mm -hmm. and it's not negative. I mean, there's things that you can smell that um, it brings back happy memories. But there right. are those smells that, you know, like I can still smell um, the airbag that went off in my car at my wreck. Um, I can still hear some of that, you know. And so, you know, there's certain smells that trigger that. And so, but, you know, at times I could taste that dirty penny smell. Especially when we first started, I, am fa I could taste it too. Which was very, between the taste and the smell, was very overwhelming. Yeah. But you know, the longer we've done the protocols, the longer we've, you know, added to and take, you know, whatever as you've needed, as we've needed to, or I've needed to mm -hmm. kind of helped, you know, level it's hitting that level. I'm not saying there's not still some of this going on, but there's, you know, it's more level now. Yeah. Not, not emotional roller coaster that you're kind of, yeah, it's not that whole, I'm going to ball every five minutes because, you know, <laughs> all of this stuff is coming faster than I can deal with it. Right. So the cool thing is, and um, now in 2018, we're offering that I Am Fabulous class via text. So they can, um, you know, get that and just, it's three texts a day, the spiritual workbook, it's spiritual videos. We kind of, I really walk you through releases and, hearing what God is saying, et cetera. So Kathy, why should somebody take that class? Like, what will it do for them? 
Oh man, I think every personally think everybody should take it because I mean, it just for me personally, it got me more in touch with who I am. Mm -hmm. And maybe not necessarily in touch with who I, it brought me back to who I really am. You know, it's because you know, you've spent all this time battling this demons, ghosts, whatever you want to call it. And I don't know about you, but I know for like me, I kind of lost who I was. I didn't know who I was anymore. And it had gotten to the point where all of that, to me, felt like that's what defined me. That's who I was. I was that abuse. I was that, you know, whatever. And that's not who I am in any stretch of the, in any, any, any stretch of the imagination. You know, I'm more, I love to be fun. I love to be, so, but all of that was holding all that other, just, you know, closed up so tight that I couldn't be that person that I really am. That's cool. Yeah. Totally agree. Totally agree. Everybody needs to take that. You know, and I just, I, I really honestly think if you're struggling with something, this is something you need to do. Yeah. You really it's need to. I mean, it's only two weeks long. Kathy and I both are still using the oils every single day. Um, I can tell, I don't know about you, but I can totally tell when I don't use those oils. Oh, I can. I haven't done mine today and I can totally, t and I know that's where I'm hearing that chatter that I was hearing, you know, last night and today because I didn't, I got lazy over the weekend and yeah. Yeah. So I think anybody that if you're walking through that and you're like, you know, I mean, these are the words I say over myself all the time. I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy. Um, I, I, you know, wherever that came from, you know, you don't have to have a story like Kathy's, but if that's what you're speaking and you just feel like you're kind of stuck, I mean, we both would tell you going through this two week and you take the weekends off, I mean, it will definitely change your life. You'll definitely hear God. Um, no doubt. Um, he comes in and speaks. That's just what he does. So, um, Kathy, what would you say to anybody not using oils and they've walked through, you know, a trauma like you did with a rape? Like, what would you say to them about the oils? I say give it a shot. It can't hurt you. I mean, in no stretch of the, in, in any way, shape, or form is it going to hurt you. You know, um, I'll be honest, I did the counseling, I did the depression meds, and I did all of that other junk, and it didn't do anything for me but make me worse. So I quit it all, which I know you're not supposed to just drop depression meds and all of that jazz, but it wasn't doing anything for me. It was something, it's just some, it was just something I had to find a different way to deal with it. And the conventional ways were not working. So if the conventional is not working, let's, let's shake the, let's shake the, you know, the little magic eight ball up a little bit and try something else. You know, like I said, the oils aren't going to hurt you. They're, they're probably the safest thing in the world we got and that's because they're God given. Yeah. And there's a 30 day money back guarantee on any doTERRA oil. So, I mean, honestly, if in 30 days you're like, this is a bunch of crap, <laughs> um, you know, you, but you won't. Yeah, I'm with you. Like, I have yet to have somebody say that. But, um, you know, that's the cool thing. If you're listening to us and you're like, well, I don't know. What if it doesn't work? Well, then you can send it back. Um, but I would say give it a shot for 30 days. Um, we don't recommend that you go off any medications or that, you know, if you're in counseling, stay in counseling. Um, I love that oils and all of that just pairs together um, so nicely. And so um, I mean, we would just tell you, give it a shot. So if you want more information, you can definitely contact. Um, well, you know what? I, here's the whole thing. I look at it. Maybe if I'd have had the oils when I was doing the counseling and doing all that other stuff that just, to me, was just overwhelming me more and just right. it might have, you know, done more for me but it didn't at the time. And so it was easier for me to put that away. And in a sense, bury all that emotion, just, you know, to the point that, yeah, it bubbled up hard and it still does. And it does that. So for anybody out there, that's like, 
oh, I went to counseling and I hadn't really dealt with it, but it'll be fine. It won't come back up. I promise you it's going to come back up in some shape or form. I kid you not. I bawled for nearly the full hour that I talked to Heather the other day. Yeah. As stuff was coming up and just, I mean, re- and it was, and you know, and that was even adding in newer oils to what I was already doing. And Heather is our amazing friend who does mindset. Um, and so I really feel like I am fabulous needs to come first. And then if you're right. stuck, then Heather's a great resource to be able to help you really with that chatter that just keeps coming and coming and coming. Um, if you're still struggling with that. So um, especially if you've walked through some trauma and stuff. She's amazing at that. So Kathy and I both have done sessions with Heather um, and gotten amazing results. So um, anyway, Kathy, thank you so much. You're Once welcome. You're brave and telling your story. Uh, it's never easy to do that. So, well, you know, and like I say, it, I could go much deeper yeah. and into much more detail, but I, it's... That, that's not something everybody needs to know. It, it happened. It, you know, that's whatever. I mean, if you want the deep details, I'm more than happy to tell you, you know, more one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. So if you walk through that and you want, um, Kathy's not a counselor. Um, well, she's not I'm not in any stretch of the imagination. Am I a counselor? <laughs> um, I, I'll listen. Yeah. I'm more than happy to listen to you. So just listen and just, know that you're not alone in that like we would love to walk with you through that so um anyway you know and that was my big thing too before i got into the oils and even the whole emotional side of the oils i did i felt alone i felt very isolated because rape is just not something people talk about they don't want to hear it they don't want to know that it happens they don't want to you know and in fact, I had the people that come in out at the ERs and stuff tell me, don't say anything. Just shut up and go on with life. Don't talk to any, don't, don't tell your friends about it. Don't do, and to me, that's the worst thing in the world you can do. Don't listen to the, the people that tell you don't, you know. And so I did. I quit talking about it. I just, and I, and I do believe that, you know, that's a lot of why some of mine has bubbled up so hard and so intensely. Wow. Yeah. And I mean, I don't think anybody has the right answer. Like, you know, like I wouldn't even know what to say to somebody. All I could do is just sit there and be with somebody um, and hear their story. So, and you know that honestly, I would have been loved for somebody to done that. To just sit and listen. Just sit and just hold cry. me crying out loud. Hold me while I cry. Yeah. Wise advice, my friend. Wise advice. Yep. I hope that the women listening to this don't have to use that advice. Um, <laughs> right. Um, unfortunately, rape happened. So, um, but anyway, we would love for you, if you want information about the oils, you can contact Kathy or I. Um, we're happy to help you guys with any of that. Um, and then we, if you want information about the I Am Fabulous class, just post below, comment below, and we are more than happy to um, send you information on that. You can do that in a Facebook group or you can do that via text. So um, that's something new for 2018. So. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for joining us. Kathy, thank you so much for sharing. And no problem.